in fifth grade, we had to go to the Kennedy Center to see it, like an opera. It's like a field trip thing. Really? Yeah, I forget what we saw, but we had this weird Greek music teacher. And oh, hell like, yeah. Yeah, we had to go. It was like the end of the year. They brought us to go see an opera. I kind of want to see an it. opera like now. I hated that bitch. <laughs> Why? She just sucked. She was a bitch. We had like a cool music teacher oh, you prior to that. One? And then she, he like retired or something. Like he was like fun. He'd have like fun with the kids right. or whatever, you know. Yeah. And, like, he had like names for all the instruments. He's like, yeah, you know, I mean, he was, yeah. we talked about it before, but he was a homosexual. <laughs> yeah, he's and, definitely know, gay as shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's, yeah. Every fun <laughs> teacher you had in elementary school <laughs> yeah, yeah. was gay as shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah Mr. Just Larry. Don't realize it. Oh, I shouldn't have said his name, but whatever. But there was this yeah. guy who was just like the funnest first grade teacher. He's right. like singing songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, we took, he took us to see uh, him in Peter Pan or some shit. And he's yeah, just yeah. like, he like comes out and dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, he's so creative and yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's like, <laughs> My mom's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah Mr. Larry's gay. Yeah. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, no, that's, what? When that's basically little, what the situation was. Yeah. We had a gay music teacher. There was a lot of fucking fun. They replaced her with this Greek bitch. Uh. And she fucking sucked dick, dude. She, uh... Oh man! So like we had the you know the remember box tops for education where if you bring in yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. from cereal yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so our school had like a goal like if we got to fucking you know two thousand whatever you know five hundred dollars mm-hmm. two thousand dollars whatever the amount was in box tops they would like there was like a prize and you know yeah and so the prizes the options were um, you know there was three things that everyone kind of voted on initially mm-hmm. as like ballot options because everything had to tie into like teaching kids about democracy or whatever right some bullshit so. So, you know, there's a like different and then there was like a write in option. So it was like, you know, either the t- uh, the principal kisses a pig or whatever. They get like, a fucking <laughs> pig from a farm and she had to kiss it. I think that was the one that ended up winning. The principal ended up kissing a pig. <laughs> but, uh, Stupid bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then there was a couple other ones. But then there was this kid, Chris, who was like, uh, I mean, my friend Anthony, we were like friends with him. We were all on the baseball team together and we yeah. all like sucked. And we sort of, <laughs> yeah. but, but like, you know, Chris was at like the sort of the bottom of that pecking order in between me, Anthony and Chris or whatever. And uh, Chris was like kind of like, he was just like a dumbass. He was like aloof and like didn't yeah. think about shit. So they all had, they put out the, like the ballots of like what you could vote for to happen if we got like the box stops. And so in a write-in space, and these are anonymous. They just hand one to everyone. They're anonymous. And he wrote his name at the top for some reason. <laughs> And then in the uh, like a, like other section, he writes down, uh, "Mrs. Vasilio should jump off the school and kill herself." <laughs> <laughs> and like Jesus yeah. Christ! And then he erases his name and turns it in. But his name's still like clearly <laughs> visible. Yeah. And then he got like suspended, and then they like write an apology. To the- <laughs> that one was probably so sad. Yeah. <laughs> She's like some fucking yeah, yeah. overworked, uh, yeah. like single. Because he's up. There's so many. There's a specific type of like uptight Greek woman who's like yeah. 36 has never fucked because she's yeah. like. She still lives at home with her fucking parents and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's probably just like trying to get through the fucking day. And then it's like she sees this shit. Can't couldn't relate to kids as a child. And then as and a now teacher. Has to be a teacher. Yeah. It's like even now she's getting bullied. Yeah. No, like, I hated her though. Well, I had like what I was, had a, was she? I had, like, a, was I had she, an offspring CD that she took from me. Oh no. I wasn't even fucking like trying to put it on or anything. I just had it with me and she's like, You can't have this. This parental advisory stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a bitch. Like my parents bought it for me. I we, don't know. Was she like was she like was she that kind? Of, was she like a spinster, or do you think she, did she have a family and shit? Or do you know? Do you remember? No, I mean, you know, I'm six. I'm just like she's a oh, bitch. Yeah, six, okay. Because <laughs> oh, I remember, fuck this bitch. I remember I had a fucking terrible music teacher who I was like, this guy fucking sucks. But it was clear that he was just a fucking loser. He was just yeah, like yeah, yeah. some. He was going through a divorce. <laughs> yeah. I found out later. Yeah, he had a fucking terrible. I was like, why is this guy's hair so stupid? He yeah. had the worst wig you've ever yeah, seen yeah. in your fucking life. Oh, I, I had a teacher like that in, yep. in high school who taught government, and he would wear suits, and there was no reason to wear suits. Course, it wasn't a yeah. private school, and he. He, had, he was also a magician. Oh. So he would like, you know, we're going to start the class uh, with a magic trick. We're going to do like one magic trick. You know? Yeah, yeah. He was Jesus the guy. He was Christ. the guy I told this story before about who called the retarded kid professor. <laughs> I told you that there was a retarded kid in the class. He'd be like, uh, who's got the answer to that? You, professor? <laughs> no? Okay. I told did I told this story, right? I think so, yeah, but yeah, still, yeah, that's yeah. so fucking funny. Yeah, and he had this like piece of shit like fucking Buick, like a like a like a mid nineties Buick Regal with a trunk didn't close, so it was like held shut by a bungee cord. Yeah. And just fucking like boom, <laughs> oh, fuck. boom, boom, you know, as he like went over, you know. And uh, me and my dad ran into him at the grocery store one time, and uh, 
he was like wearing some like shitty, you know, not not like a nice track suit, but that like uh, I don't know what the material is. A real loud fucking yeah 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 like, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that shit. swooshy the fucking nylon, material yeah, yeah, yeah. track suit yeah. And he had a shopping cart just filled with fucking Velveeta, oh, like mac and cheese. No, you know, dude, yeah. a grown ass yeah, yeah. man I'm fucking. And you know, every that whole neighborhood is all just like people that have been divorced. Yeah, it's all yeah, like yeah. fucking, you know, just shitty. Half of them were like, you know, Section Eight condos, I guess. Uh. So he was probably divorced, and he just and he's like, oh, oh, hey, how's it going? And like yeah. he, he had this instant reaction when he saw me, where he like didn't know what to hide first. <laughs> You know, so he was just like, "Oh, uh, uh, hello!" He just punched you, know? you and ran. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was every part of it was fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah. I had a I had a teacher in middle school who, uh, first semester, uh, we could tell she was going through a divorce, and then she like would tell us like, "I'm not living with Rob anymore." Yeah. And then she'd be like, she'd start talking about um, her roommate. I guess it was like maybe ninth grade. She started talking about her roommate, and then by the end of second semester, she was in a lesbian relationship with her, <laughs> with her construction worker roommate Jill. Hell yeah! And then, dude. But it was so funny because like at the beginning of the year, we'd like be reading normal books. Like I love the I love the lesbians that look like Playmobil figurines. <laughs> oh, this woman like had. She's, she's like, well, I'm a construction worker, so I always wear the boots. Yeah. She had a, <laughs> never takes a utility belt off. She needs everyone to know how much of a fucking lesbian she is. She had a straight up Jerry curl, like blonde Jerry curl oh, mullet. Oh yeah, Jill. And I was on the debate team, so so Miss Roberts, the teacher, was also the debate coach. So that's how I knew about her personal life. Mm-hmm. And um, but in English, like the beginning of the year, we we're reading like. Tale of Two Cities or like you know the, the books you read in high school and then by the end of the year like every book was femlet like yeah, we were yeah. reading like The Yellow Wallpaper uh, Kate Chopin's The Awakening <laughs> yeah. it was all like this is what men drive women to do <laughs> they carry babies to term for nine months <laughs> and, they, and then they always turn on you and you know that there was no such thing as postpartum depression until very recently <laughs> and women were in their own prisons and yeah she was just like going absolutely nuts at us and we were like um, like, is this going to be on the test? Or- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. No, yeah. I had an English teacher that, uh, very fat, very fat woman. And, uh, she, uh, <laughs> Dude, oh, fuck. Yeah. she fucking, uh, she had like, we had to read nothing but like, uh, uh, what's like, we read a raisin in the sun and we read like a lot of, uh, oh, what, what book Ar- clubs? August, August Wilson. Plays yeah, 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 and yeah. yeah. And, uh, but then she also had like an adopted black son. So she was like, this is like, you know, I mean, nobody said woke like 10 years ago, uh-huh. but she was this fat bitch. She's like, you know, and I have to explain to my son. But she was like, you know, a big fat de Blasio. <laughs> oh, she was so That's happy right. And me and my friend used that. to laugh, you know, because I remember my friend was black. And we used to laugh about like just her at home, like painting her face black as she, <laughs> as she like reads these plays. <laughs> She's like, yeah, mm, this is me. I had, I had yeah, a teacher. Making her like adopted son kiss her face. I had a teacher like me, me and my friend Alex were like best friends in high school. I guess we were like disruptive uh-huh. and um, she fucking hated us. And her name was Kitty Hair. So we just, we just, <laughs> We used to pussy call her hair? pussy hair all the time. Oh, like, yes. Yeah. We'd be like, oh, yo, we're in pussy hair's class together this <laughs> semester. Like, we got the schedules. I remember we sat down one day and she's like, I will not be having this. I will not be having you in the same class. She, like, gets, like, red in the face. And so she switched our schedules around. So <laughs> we just decided to, like, ignore the schedule switch. So we'd, like, come to class, like, in the same like at the same period every every week and she like literally lost it she got the administration involved and then we just lie and be like i i don't know what she's talking about she's making this <laughs> up how the fuck did that work how did just claiming a teacher lied work and you got to stay in the same well, class i'm sorry mrs bitch but the children are saying that you're lying pussy hair dude you fucking bitch yeah. yeah she she didn't she only had uh she had no kids but she had a dog named buddha and she just keep talking about her buddha she yeah, it's so like, funny how she's like talking about her pussy. the education system is like filled with so many just adult dumbasses. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because <laughs> edu- it's not too. a valued profession. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, if yeah. you're paid as much as a doctor, we maybe had an we assistant get, like, principal in middle school that used to like uh, be like, uh, I'd like to see uh, Omid in my office, please. And then he would he would call for this kid who would just help him with uh, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> 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 he would just play in his office. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like during lunch, you that know, help is him. incredible, dude! Yeah. Holy the, fuck! The coolest shit. gym teacher in high school was this guy, Coach uh, Cobert, and like we fucking loved him. Everyone loved him. 
and then like uh, one day there's just fucking news trucks in front of the school. Oh no! <laughs> and yeah, he was fucking his teacher's aid. She was so hot, dude. I can't explain. Well, how. what's, what's wrong, wrong with that? that? Yeah. What? What's wrong with that? What's wrong? His she was, she was 17 years old. That's oh. oh no, she was like a student. Like oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. She had like a period where she was, she was so fucking hot. And then yeah. like everyone was like, "Free Cobert." <laughs> <laughs> I would have done it too. Yeah, dude. There was there was this one coach who was just like the coolest, smoothest dude, mm-hmm. and he was just like he was the football. He played for the he he like was in the league for a while in the NFL for a sec, and then uh, he just like after and he coached the track team he played the he was like a smooth jazz like keyboard guy just a jack like distinguished old black dude and later you just find out that like almost literally every eight every girl he coached on the track team the, like literally the day they turned 18 he fucked them like he was just like he had like a schedule he dated like every single one why the hell wouldn't you you know that's my question yeah i'm just saying it's pretty funny if the berries are ripe for picking <laughs> That's uh, the old expression goes. We one time I I was a telemarketer in high school. Where I worked, I worked for this. List, I mean, literally straight up aided the housing crisis. I worked for mm-hmm. a company, a company called American Government Mortgage. <laughs> it was just <laughs> like, like it might as well have been called official real ass yeah. mortgage. <laughs> like they're straight up trying to trick dumbasses into thinking the government <laughs> wants them to refinance. <laughs> and so uh, I worked for them and then I looked up the gym teacher's name, like this guy fucking uh, Mr. Small, his name was Cleon. Yeah. And I was like, and I just looked up his number and I was just like, uh, just because I had gotten somebody else on the football team uh, a job there and I just got the most, just pulled the most childish fucking prank. I just, we just called his house and we were like, hi, is this, uh, is this Mr. Cleon Small? Or I was like, is this Mr. Small? And he was like, yes. And he was like, uh, we're calling from like, <laughs> I think literally like gaysex.com it was like it was some kind of gay porn site and I was like you're uh, I was like you're you're and it was like your fucking your account is mu- way overdue you owe thousands of dollars to gaysex.com and he was like who is this and I was like how'd you get this I was like was your I'm sorry sir uh, is your username assmaster cleon7 and that was like the bit. and he was like who the fuck is this <laughs> I think he literally said like stop Rose. it was like like he literally said somebody's name it wasn't mine but he like yelled at students he knew it was like a fucking student and Man, then prank just, calling is so much fun it was the best i used dude. to do it a lot but we'd never think of anything that good yeah like, it would just no like, yeah it's always like uh oh uh, is this uh is this brian <laughs> Wait, shut up shut up, shut up. <laughs> you're fucking gay dude yeah. <laughs> um sorry i didn't think of anything else other than i remember that, so. one time the be- one of the best laughs from a from a prank <laughs> call that i ever remember was uh was one time we just prank called a random person and my friend was like hey is this uh he's like who is the, the guy was like who is this and my friend was like mike he's like mike who's like mike long and there's like he looked around and got like this fucking inspiration he was like mike long dick in your mouth <laughs> and we all lost it we we're like ah <laughs> Mike, like that's the level of fucking. That's such a bad joke. Michael told me. <laughs> Michael told me when he was in college, he there was a every dorm they didn't have internet, but every dorm had a phone, and you could like call random numbers, and it was untraceable. And he called one girl up once, and it was like she like picked up, and he couldn't think of anything. He goes, "I'm gonna kill you." <laughs> <laughs> My 